What's going on guys? Welcome to another Standard League here on Magic Online. Today we're playing another deck that was commissioned to me by a uh, viewer and fan uh, by the name of Robert. Uh, this is a deck he named Azor Carnage. For obvious reasons, we have Carnage Tyrants and Azor, the Lawbringer, which is pretty sweet. Um, it looks like there was a, a lot of green-white based decks uh, going around with, uh, you know, you ramp into things like Sandworm Convergence or Approach of the Second Sun. With cards like Spring to Mind and Gift of Paradise, which we have both. This deck, however, is also playing Thematic Compass, which is pretty sweet. Treasure Map, which is pretty sweet. And then cards like... There's a lot of one-of Planeswalkers like Gideon, Dovin Bon, Nissa, Ajani, and Nicol Bolas, which are all pretty sweet. Plus, we have two copies of Azor the Lawbringer, which I mentioned and I'm also very excited about. Uh, as far as removal, we do have Settle the Wreckage, four Enchantment Effects, Cast Out, and three Exelons Binding, and three Fume Gates, which is pretty good. Uh, ideally, we're going to be going Spring or Gift on turn three into Hour of Promise on turn four, and then we can just play Nicol Bolas on turn five. The mana base is the thing I'm most scared of, because once you hit four mana, there aren't very many lands that come into play untapped. These deserts won't. So let's look at that one... Two, three, four, five, six, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen lands that might come into play untapped. And uh, glacial fortresses only have looks like one, two, three, four, five lands that allow them to come into play untapped, which is not a ton. And sun petal groves have a little bit more as one, two, three, four, five, six. So not a ton, but you do want to kind of search out these lands that would allow them to come into play untapped, like things that work well with Glacial Fortress or Sun Petal Grove so that they they are untapped lands in the future. Uh, sideboard, we do have a copy of Sandworm Convergence, which is sweet. We also have Negates, uh, another Commit to Memory, something against Burn Decks, another thing. Authority is great, great sideboard card beat right now. Desert Hold is also pretty good, especially with all the deserts we have gaining life. And um, yeah, some Naturalizes. So, uh, deck looks super sweet. I'm excited to try it out. So, let's do just that. And as usual, if you are interested in me taking a look at your deck, uh, playing it on stream, and giving you some feedback, do take a look at the offer that I have listed in my Twitch profile on uh, twitch.tv slash franklapore. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, feel free to like or subscribe, like and uh, subscribe. And uh, see how things go. I'm okay with this. A little slow, but we do have all the pieces we need. I'm tempted to cycle this. Because we have all of our colors. I'm just going to lead with Sun Petal Grove because uh, I'd rather play Island on turn two. And then cycle. We have, we don't need five lands here. We can get another land. Uh, that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, so we'll cycle, play a, play a Gift of Paradise, then play a Dovin Bon, I guess. The name is Bon. Dovin Bon. That'll never get old. It's probably old now. Oh, look at little cutie. Ha ha. So if they play another thing, we can actually fumigate, which is okay. I don't know if that's worth it with only two guys. Probably is now. This guy does get indestructible, right? So you sack this guy, make it indestructible. Alternatively, Dovon goes Dovin goes up to five. Negate here goes up to five, or goes up to four rather. This guy attacks. I think we can do that. And then Dovin goes up to goes down to two. Yeah, I like that. It's a good turn to play Botanical Sanctum here too, so. See, this turn we can we can activate Dovin on Yeheni and then Fumigate, which is nice. I would also hope that you... Um, 
play a dude. Play another dude. Oh, it worked. That's pretty good. That's great. Wow. That was pretty good. And they can't activate Scrap Heap Scrounger, so we're pretty safe there. That's pretty baller. Next turn, we can also play Planes, play Hour of Promise, and uh, they had nothing there. All right. Oh, that's a thing. I kind of want to hope to hit a desert here. We're also going to dove in and draw a card here. We want a desert. We really want one desert so we can Hour of Promise and hit more deserts, but we didn't hit a desert there. Desert one time. None of these are deserts. You're not helping me here. The problem is now they get two Scrap Heap Scroungers back and we don't have a desert. Hmm. Is it just Nissa make a 5-5? Five five? <clears throat> Nissa does go up to six, which is pretty good. Yeah, all right, we'll just Nissa here. All right. No attacks here. I want to save my guys, and this is not our win condition. Scrounger, scrounger. Okay, you got it. It's gonna F6 here, I have no uh, responses. I'm kind of waiting until they have less cards in their hand to play Azor because that's a really reliable win condition if we can get it to stick. It's also a card I really wanna be able to draw cards with. I imagine they're killing Dovin Bond here. Both at Nyssa. I'm okay with this. Sure. <laughs> so we can return the Fumigate and Fumigate again? That seems good. <clears throat> I mean, we lose Nissa, but... Oh, it's Return Target Permanent, so we can't actually do that. Um... Dovin Bond is likely dead if we, uh... If we plus. Man, Field of Ruin. Deserts, where you be at? One, two, three, four, five, six... Is it worth the hour of promising just for lands? Like, it doesn't feel like it because we just don't need the lands at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana total. So we can cycle cast out, but I don't think that's where we want to be. If we had one more land, we'd be in good shape because then we can actually uh, get rid of, we can actually cast out something, but alas, no, sad times.
two cards makes me feel a little bit better about having this guy. Wow, everyone at Nyssa? I mean, Nyssa's dead, so we might as well just let her die, but I will block this guy. Right? There's no reason to, actually, right? Like, as if they have another Supernatural Stamina, we just lose two mana. Yeah, that's not really worth it. We could have blocked with the Azor, but I really don't want to risk that either. I don't know what they could have. And this is going to die anyway, so... Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to draw five. And we can Dovin Bond next turn. Or uh, n n never again, probably, because Dovin's probably going to die here, but... Do we just actually gain the two life? No, because gaining two life is worse because they're going to attack him for three. So we're actually saving ourselves some damage there. This card down to seven. Get rid of desert. Next time we can play scavenger grounds into our. So now they have to put one adobe in and we take six. If we if we activated last turn, we would have gained two and taken eight. Or taken 12, rather. So we would have taken 10 instead of 6. So, <clears throat> pretty good. And we're at 25. That's pretty reasonable. Aether Hub. Interesting. Another Bone Picker. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. We can actually draw one and then fumigate, or we can just fumigate now. We can actually fumigate and then keep up scavenging grounds to exile both of these guys. That seems good. However, it does get rid of our desert, but then we just play this one next turn. I think that's actually what we want to do. I think our hand is great here, and we have another Azor, so. I think this is probably going to be game. The reason we don't swing there is because it's very obvious that they're just going to gain life. Or they're just going to block. And then we just lose two life there. Like, we just, we don't gain the life from Azor and the Bone Picker, so there's no real incentive to doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Uh, black.
Sure, kill that dude. Good deal. This deck is sweet so far. And bring back Wander. I think this is where we just negative seven your face, play Hour of Promise, and then negative seven your face again. Let's get Rivulet and uh, Desert. Seems good. Ah, a Fatal Push. The card we were waiting for. Deals damage, it's gain life. All right, so Nickel will also go to four, and then we just kill you. Presumably. Oh, you got a one? Why are you at one? Did I miscount? Where'd they get? Oh, they gain light. This guy gains a life too. Oh, all right, all right. That is my unfamiliarity with night market lookout, but I think we're still fine. So, I have no way to just deal you one. That's really sad. Give me a fumigate. No, it gives paradise, sure. Seems good. Let's just finish this. Did I not add a blue? Is this not too blue? All right, it's not too blue. I want the red gone. There we go. Oh, guess the game just ends. Okay. Seems good. Let's bring in another Fumigate. Let's bring in a Settle the Wreckage. Desert Hold is great against cards like... Uh... Uh, any any freshly brewed... Pos any, any Patreon post to freshly brewed will be for, for freshly brewed. Anything that has to do with my stream, like donations, goes to me. But we don't actually have a reward tier for $5 on Freshly Brewed, so. Okay, what are we taking out here? I don't think Carnage Tyrant is great in this matchup. Actually, maybe it is. Baffling end is good. Binding is probably pretty pretty bad. Desert hold is probably better. We're getting life. I don't like Carnage Tart when they have Bone Picker, I guess. Because then they just block it. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. I do kind of like Sandworm Convergence when they do have Bone Pickers. That's pretty sweet. I don't think Authority is that great because they don't have Haste Guys. 
I do like Convergence. I think Convergence is a good card, and it just gives you a bunch of dudes. And they don't really have a way to deal with it as a, as a black deck. So. Hmm. This hand is rough. Double Fumigate, though. Like, if we draw Spring to Mind or Gift, I think this hand is great. We're also on the draw. They went to six. All right, we'll see what happens. I also don't like coffee. I don't mind coffee. But I actually don't love it. So... If someone was like, here, you want some coffee? I'd be like, eh, okay. But like people who like literally leave their house just to go get coffee and then they come back and it's just, it's just weird to me. That was a good draw. One down. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm more of like a tea slash other iced flavored beverage drinker. So now we can go turn three this guy and then set up for the Fumigate. They don't have an answer for this. That's the joy of being a black deck. You just don't have an answer for Baffling End or other enchantments. And it's so nice to be able to exile guys like this or keep them on the board. Wow. Wow. Turns out hitting that Hour of Promise was pretty good, especially when we have one desert. It's water and beans, man. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, man. As someone from not the U.S., it's probably super hilarious to you. So it's actually just like... Crystal Light is what is what it is. And it's just like their packets, they go in water. And they, they they have like they this this is peach mango green tea. So it's like green tea flavor with uh peach and mango. Oh, I take two from this guy? Deal. Oh, our opponent missed three land drops. That's pretty rough. What up, Unseen Spectre? You guys are welcome to not like them. That is totally fine. I mean, we have three Fumigates. I'll just Fumigate here. Uh, drink it cold. You just add it to cold water to it. Like usually, they're they're made for the twenty ounce bottles of water. You just stick them in there, and you're good to go. So we have white, white, blue, but we don't. Or we have white, blue, blue, but we don't have all three. Next turn, we do when we untap a land. That's pretty good. Might as well attack here. This is at six, and uh, we have... They have no haste, guys, as far as I know, so... All right, that's the end. Sweet deck is sweet.
damn, I love America. <laughs> oh, this hand is rough. Ship it. This hand is better. Keep it. Um, yeah, we'll keep you on top. We can play you on turn three. Four. Oh, a bunch of kitty cats. All right. Again, this deck... Uh... Guy Lordy, glad you can finally catch a live stream. Appreciate the support, man. Thank you so much. I'm going to play you tapped because you're a land I do want. And we're good for gift into Dovin Bon. Also, both of these guys have graveyard things, and I'm not big on fumigating them, but I will if I have to. Wow. One look at this perfect curve. One, two, three. Also, I have to actually draw a fumigate. I can't just say I'm gonna, I'm gonna fumigate him and not not have a fumigate. Come on, fumigate one time. What up, McGimp? You got the Dovin Bond, and you got the Carnage Tyrant. We, we do it all here. Alright, Fumigate one time. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. Just give me the... Just... just give me my Fumigate. One time. One time. I was thinking it would be funny if you were talking to an empty chat. That would be really weird. I uh, I don't know. You kind of have to, though, right? Like, new streamers who don't have viewers, like, they have to talk, right? From what you've seen online, do you think control is where it's at in terms of standard right now? Just saw the tail end of the mono black matchup and damn... I fudge heavy with mono black, but your deck shredded it. Um, I don't think it's not where it's at. Does that make sense? Like, I think it's very good. I don't think it needs to be. Uh, I don't. I think it's a, a legitimate part of the metagame is what I'm saying here. I think control is in a good is in good shape. I don't know if I do like the sound of my own voice, but I deal with it, though. I deal with it. So Dovin would go up to four, and then they would attack him for three, go to one. That's eh, not great. We need to take five here, though. Why? Why are you like this? All right, start this guy. I missed that in a creepy way. <laughs> oh man, I guess you falling asleep to the stream is a good thing, right? At least it means I don't have some grating voice that you just can't fall asleep to. Well, apparently you guys don't think my voice is terrible, so that is a plus. I appreciate that. Man, I'm like your I'm like your magic ASMR. I wish the jazz could be back too. I to this day, I get video I get messages on I get emails from YouTube for videos that are like four or five years old where they're like, hey, there's been a copyright claim against this video. And I'm just like, Okay, sorry, do what you gotta do. 
And it doesn't affect me, but I mean, it's still annoying because I can't like, there's just videos getting like demonetized or like taken down or, you know, whatever the consequences are. And I can't do anything about it because so we block here, we take one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, like that's basically why I can't use jazz anymore, which is unfortunate because it was one of my favorite parts of, of my videos. And I think it was a sweet way to distinguish. And people liked it. I think I actually introduced a lot of people to jazz because of that. <laughs> sure. Must be nice. All right. Other fumigate. Other settle. We're going to bring the same things in as last time. Going to take out the Carnage Tyrant this time. I don't think he's that great. Especially if we're, like, wiping the board. Take out two bindings. What else did we take out last time? I, don't know. I like commit, actually, as a way to deal with, like, embalmed cats. What a weird thing to say. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm, oh, this actually seems great. I'll keep this hand. Turn two, turn three, turn four. Deal. Uh, the Legacy Cube is the one that's going up on the 28th, for those curious. Well, this is coming into play tapped at some point. Uh, the stuff is still on YouTube. I have a bunch of early stuff on YouTube. My stuff only goes back to YouTube or back to Amonkhet because that's probably when I started uploading it seriously. We can actually get a forest here. Which puts both of our sun petal groves. We, we actually might have wanted to get a plains just because if we draw Glacial Fortress, it also uh, allows those to come into play untapped. But we can just get that with Thematic Compass. So, McGimp himself with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens here. I would just rather cycle this than play it, so... Kermit the Frog, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Vintage Cube, but I also like the Legacy. I like the Legacy Cube for the fairness of it. Like you can, I feel like you get more interactive games. Uh, you're able to play more interact. There's more interaction. Like games aren't over as quickly. But I do like the Vintage Cube because of the broken nature of it. And once you get past the fact that you can in fact lose on turn three or four due to some broken combo, but you can also do that as well. It becomes a lot more fun, I think. So that's just my two cents on the uh, the legacy versus the vintage cube. Here comes blossoming defense. I'm sure. No, it's just Doe and Bond going to, going to one here. All right. It would be nice if I can draw like a settled wreckage or a uh, 
Well, that's not going to do it. I think now we're just going to draw a card. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three. We can play Treasure Map and activate Compass, which I think is probably pretty good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's fine. I like Dovin Bond as well. I just don't know. Like, he's great if you can wipe the board and, and have him on board to, uh, to clean up any straggling creatures, because... That's what he do. And we have another, another compass which you can just play next turn. Which is pretty good. So we can scry. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can go land, compass, flip compass. And that's actually pretty good. I think his draw plus life ability is super, so close to Jace Bellerin. And that's why I don't understand why he doesn't see more play. But, I mean, on the same hand, Jace, you can plus two Jace, and then it's like two more draws. Whereas you have to keep alternating with Dovin. Like, negative guy, draw card, negative... Or plus, like, negative a creature, negative Dovin, negative creature, negative Dovin, Dovin. And it's it's a little more cumbersome, especially when he costs one more mana. But his plus is not that great. I agree with you there. <clears throat> You got it. <clears throat> wow, another Legion's Landing. You're just lining me up for this Fumigate when I get it. Or Settle the Wreckage. Or, you know, what have you. Jace, the Architect of the Thought, had a great plus, though. Negative one to all guys is pretty pretty powerful. And put you on the bottom. All right. And I'm pretty sure we're going to scry again during our upkeep, trying not to hit something stupid. We will activate using forest. Fumigate. Bottom. Oh, it's, I always think this costs more than it does. Hmm. The activation costs three, though, so we can't actually activate and scattered grooves. It's probably just better to activate it, right? But then we don't get to untap it. Eh, we're not going to get a land. We'll just draw a card with scattered grooves and prevent some damage, ideally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are so close to the city's blessing. Sure. Oh, you're going to just kill us because you have uh, blossoming defense. Sure. Just play the blossoming defense now. Actually, if he did that, then I, I could target something else. Yeah, this guy is actually pretty good, so I don't feel like they're not going to play correctly. And scoop it up. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Might as well cycle and find out if there's a instant speed removal spell. I don't think there is any of those. Yep, and you got it. Cool. All right, saw zero Fumigates and zero Settle the Wreckage and zero Deserts Hold in two games. So, not really surprised we lost that one, but we'll see what we can do. Um, Any changes? What did I think? 
could be done differently there. I don't know if I want two thematic compasses. I think treasure map is probably better than thematic compass. I would probably put a second thematic treasure map over a thematic compass. Just because the activation is cheaper and you're using so much mana every turn that you don't really have time to dirtle and uh, get, get a land every turn. But on the other hand, like getting the getting the uh, the land to flip is good. But you're pretty much guaranteed to have that happen with this deck. So I'll keep this hand. I don't love it, but if we can get to five, we're in great shape. We also have a two drop, a four drop. I'll give it a sh I'll give it a shot. Depending on the deck they're playing, this could be terrible, but we'll see. Evolving Wilds. Is that how it's pronounced? Evolving Wilds? Grixis Thieves. I don't even know what that is. Well, if you play some creatures, we're in good shape, but... Blue white, huh? All right. Well, well, we're getting there. I don't foresee them having any creatures against us, but we definitely think we have a double hour. Oh, uh, I'm not sure about running any Theros flashback. Um, I think the flashback drafts or the flashback standard are some of the 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 my some of my least favorite Magic Online offerings. I don't hate them, but it's never something I'm like super stoked to play because it's random, right? Like it's. So, I mean, I'm already, I don't know what's going on. It's just blue-white control. Yeah, it was definitely Gary slash Merfolk slash. Oh, Trip Theros draft stand. Oh, that's what you're referring to. Flashback drafts. Oh, I thought you were talking about the standard gauntlet. Interesting. Oh, a mountain, huh? What's going on here? Oh, man, I'm so confused right now. All right, well, that's not what we're looking for. Any land and we're good. A man, a plan. A canal? A man, a plan. A canal, pan. What is, how does it go? Well, that's not a land, but it, it it might be one day. Not today. All right. Good to know. Well, you enjoy your mana. Gary Draft. <laughs> oh, Hawley. All right. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. That's what it is, yeah. That's a good one. I like a good palindrome. Why do you have all these planeswalkers? I don't understand. I can roll, 
mass pollution. This is pretty rough. Oh, I see. So you're just playing Just Guy Control with Evolving Wilds. I got it. I understand. I am a fan. I like this Hawatli that just makes tokens. Like this is just a Garrick that makes that makes tokens for zero instead of negative one. What are the odds anything resolves right now? It's it's a hundred percent zero, I know that, but Oh, I have a counter spell for your thing. I don't want you to play Magic the Gathering against me because that wouldn't be fun. I'm, we're just done here. Oh, boy. All right. So, negate, negate, negate. Convergence. We can take out the Baffling End. Probably take out Fumigate. Fumigate. Bring in this one. Probably take out the other Fumigate. This is just Creature. Yeah, all right. Is Naturalize any good? What do they have that we can naturalize? Their uh, Search for Us contest? Sure, we can bring that in. And bring in the other one for a Settle the Wreckage. We kind of want one Fumigate just in case things get out of hand with their dinosaurs. Yeah, I think that's fine. I feel like we actually should be, as long as we hit our land drops, we should be decently positions against against the control deck because we just have like a bunch of one of things that need to be dealt with I will keep this hand Interesting. Why do I have this? Why do I have this? This is ACDC, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution. What are the odds they have a Nagate? Do you negate this? It doesn't seem very good. Wow. You got it, man. As a player who loves Limited, I've never had less fun playing Magic than the one time a friend loaned me a deck so I could try Standard Challenge and play Blue-Red Control. Wow. I mean, just because I rallied for Jace being unbanned doesn't mean I only play Modern. That would be weird. Well, we don't even get to to commit here. That's sad. I just want to commit. I really kind of resent this one mountain right now. If you were another white or another blue. Uh, maybe not blue. Yeah, another blue because then we could uh, spring to mind. But all right, no supreme will. Well, at least we get the Carnage Tyrant this turn. That's pretty good. Or try to. Rock and roll ain't no 
noise pollution. I mean, I like the idea of saving this until we need it, like for, uh... for like an Ascanta, but. Seems good. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm love it. <laughs> sure. One, two, three, four. We got binding, but that's cute. We got naturalized. Can we draw naturalize? I guess not. Oh, uh, we do need a green here, I guess. One, two, three. Gift on you. So now we can wait till the end of turn and commit their Gideon's intervention. I have to assume they have a negate in hand. But if they don't, I guess we'll find out. And they always do. All right. I have also boarded into gates, and I haven't seen any, so... Uh... You know, if you want to gift me with the negate magic online, you are more than welcome to do so. But, you know, no pressure. I'd also take one of the, the naturalizes that I put in here, but one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Is Supreme Will four or three? I think it's three. Yeah, okay. It is three. One, two, three, four. Sure. So you have two cards in hand. We have double spring to mind. We have a Gideon. I think we're in good shape here. I agree how I run is simply ridiculous a lot of the time. Um, they have two cards, though. And I think our, our, our variety... One, two, three, four, five, six. I think our variety of cards is just better. So... Let's see your uh, your torrential gear hulk come down. <sighs> sure. <laughs> like, okay. If you could not have it and only have lands in hand, I would appreciate that. That would be pretty sweet, but... You got it. Two, three, four, five.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we can actually uh, start flashing these back and still have things to do. We can also commit to memory, but I hate when they have two cards and we have, or like I hate, I hate when they also have as few of, as cards as we do. Interesting. Two. Huh. It's actually pretty good. I feel like we just killed Gear Hulk here. Or not. Maybe we don't care. We can just wait, I guess. All right. We'll wait. I think killing intervention is good. Um, I'm not going to do it now because if they have supreme will, maybe I do it now. Yeah, we can do it now. My god, they just wanna they're just they're just going so deep here. What are they looking for? What are you looking for, buddy? You looking for a little Alright, so you have a disallow. Good to know. Now I feel like trying to commit to memory. All right, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counter this. Disallow this, please. All right, that was our last basic. Keep that in mind. And we're just going to pass here because we don't have any reason not to. We're going to try to draw two cards. So long, Gideon. This is a grindy game. Six. Hmm. 
I guess we can use you for compass. I'm playing the desert because I want to have something else to exile with scavenging grounds. So we're not just like... Oh, and a braid. Yeah, that's fine. Can't do anything about it, so... Yep. Watley. Well, I wish I could do something about that. Mega Dinosaur. Oh, gain life. Two, three... A counter this? That's fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted you to do. Give three mana, huh? Three mana, huh? Hey, you got a three mana, huh? Can I kill your warrior poet? Get that guy out of the way. All right, seems good. So let's assume you have a way to deal with this guy, right? Blue, blue. White, white. Green, red. Oh! Can't cast away in response. All right. Yeah, 20 is definitely the better donation. Uh, super, I appreciate even asking. <laughs> uh, they have three cards. They're going to go to four with this if they activate. They can't activate now, though. Is it worth us drawing seven and letting them draw four? That's the question. Because I feel like we're in good shape right now. I'm gonna pass here. I think we're good. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need the cards. We already have Azor on board, so if for some reason Azor doesn't work out. Oh, another search. That's a pretty that's pretty much a blank. Make a dinosaur. I dare you. I dare you because it's the only mode you can really do. So that's that's the only reason I'm daring you. Sure. <laughs> Upbraid again. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh, good deal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're thematic compassing here. And then maybe playing. What's our last cards like negate or disallow? They just counter this. We go to zero to zero. But they have Ezkanta and search for Ezkanta. Now, as far as subs go, Twitch takes 50%, I get 50%. So, unfortunately, 
Yeah, you can't just look at general amount of subs that someone has and assume that they're making that much because that's not how that works, unfortunately. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, larger channels get better deals, 100% correct. Well, Twitch doesn't take a portion of donations. Uh, PayPal and Streamlabs usually take a portion of donations because that's who it goes through. Like, there's no way the streamer is ever getting 100% of what you send. I, I, I think I prefer subbing. If you're going to sub consistently for a while, I prefer subbing. That's just better because I, I want to try to increase the sub count. I think that having a higher sub count is just better. Um, I don't know what to do here, though. I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth this. How do they deal with Carnage Tyrant is the question. I'm just going to pass here. They have one card. Never thought their three of braids that they kept in would have been this useful, but turns out when you're running Thematic Compass and Treasure Map, it's pretty... Oh, come on, really? Flip the other one too. Yeah, prime subs work the same way. I get otherwise there's no point. There would be no point to prime subs if if you didn't get the same deal. Prime subs just act like last subs. This has become just a, a Twitch a Twitch course. Rock and roll and noise pollution. It's actually very good. Guy Lordy, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Wow, you're third in the gate, and I have yet to see one. All righty then. Seems good. One, two, three, four. I'm really tempted to scavenging rounds and then activate commit to memory. Because it, it takes away a, a significant amount of their counter spells. Whereas for us, it only takes away like an Azor and like... That's pretty much it. Actually, we can't do that, can we? Because as soon as we activate this, we can put this on the stack and then and then do it, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But we want 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We, need, we actually want 12 to do that, which is unfortunate. Because I'm just worried about them having Supreme Will, but I don't think they have Supreme Will. I'm going to be honest with you. Come on, we both want to draw seven, right? Seems good. Oh, could have played Glacier Fortress, kept up in the gate. Uh, now we don't get to do that. That's pretty sad. 
See how hasty I was there? But our hand is pretty good now, so that's okay. Yeah, I played. I just played the wrong land. You you think you're stupid? I'm the stupid one. I played the wrong land. You're good. And they got a Chandra. That's pretty okay. I mean, the good thing is we got a, a, we got rid of a lot of their. Uh, a lot of their counter spells. I think all of their negates are gone. One, no, three of their negates are gone. Two of their disallows are gone. So, all right. So, what do we do here? They just play Azor. I feel like Azor is probably the best thing to do. Blue, blue, white, white. Rivulet, red. Auburner. You got it. Oh, you hit a disallow. Look at that. What a time to be alive. Not today. Oh, nicely done. Very good. I'm gonna get rid of the guy that makes a million dudes. We are losing on time by a minute now, so let's try not to do that. I would also like to draw a bunch of cards next turn if that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We have 17 lands in play next turn. Yeah, that's a lot. We'll probably draw 7 for 10 and then still have 7 mana left over. You got it. Hieroglyph hieroglyphic Illumination you cannot even cast, which is nice. We can actually get on the mill plan. We have 3 mill lands, right? So... That's 12 cards right there. It is definitely an option. Can we get an attack here? Sure. <laughs> Luckiest player ever, I swear. Yep, that's pretty good. I mean, we have to we have to be able to mill before Chandra kills us, I think. So, one, one, two, three, four, Nissa. Gone, gone. So, I'm pretty sure we have enough mill time.
Yeah, the more cards you put in your graveyard, the better it's looking for us. Nope, you want to keep that? Okay. Wow, we're, I can't believe we're milling here. Just milling about. Like you do. Yeah, we'll have to sack Scavenger Grounds and Rivulet uh, because we don't want to sack. We've sacked both Rivulets. We can't actually Rivulet twice next turn. Sure. Well, that's annoying because we might actually not have a way to deal with that Gideon. However, they might just run out of cards before then. I don't know. I feel like we can just wait, right? We can just play a Johnny Unyielding here. One, two, three, four, five, and a blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Ixalan's Binding is good, but I'm still afraid they have a counter spell in hand, so I want to make sure we can get rid of any counter spells they may have. Go ahead, gain that life. So now we're going to go with Chandra. I'm more worried about them uh, ultimating Chandra and then casting five stupid spells, like an opt or something. Sure. I think this is actually Supreme Will. Interesting. Well, Chandra can't ultimate now, so that's pretty good. We do lose land, but I mean, now we actually have... Wow, you had the last one. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know if we have a way to deal with Gideon now. I mean, they have no cards. They have four cards total, so. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that means anything. 
sure. I'm pretty sure Johnny dies here. Yep. On the bright side, them having four cards total means that they can't actually um, kill us with uh, Chandra ever. Going face, going... All right, so we're going to untap you. Keep up. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Um, let's get back a permanent. Let's get back Carnage Tyrant. How about that? Three, four, five. Let's get a desert. This guy. We didn't have enough desert, so I'm really bad at this game. Yeah, we win if we resolve binding, but we didn't want to get countered, which it did. So I don't understand. Oh, oh my God, we have an Ixalan's binding in the graveyard. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep track of time. Like we have five minutes, they have five minutes, and they're up a game right now. So, um, yeah, I think we actually just threw this. I threw. This, I think we just threw this game away. They have to have four spells they can cast. And if they do, it's impressive. That's one. Or they just ultimate it because they can do it, and then we... I, yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, God, Exxon's Binding just literally in the graveyard. That's unbelievable to me. I totally forgot it was a permanent. I kind of do want another Carnage Tyrant in the deck, though. Carnage Tyrant has been great, and uh, it's a it's a great follow-up to Fumigate. Sure. All right, well, they have less time than us, so if we do manage to win this game, it's actually pretty good because now we can play Hour of Promise... And I can't imagine they have two spells, right? I guess Chandra kills one of these guys. The other, the other mistake, like we made two misplays, like two game losing misplays last turn. We also have 18 cards left in our library, which is a lot. Uh, let's just get all of the deserts. We only have one desert left, so we'll just get it. What's it gonna be? We also have Nickel Bolas left in our deck, which is pretty pretty good. Oh, um. One, two, three. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. Tap the wrong land. I'm just literally playing as fast as I can right now, so. All right. You have two cards left. Can you cast them both right now? Hopefully one is not another Fumigate. It totally is. Hieroglyphic Elimination, okay. So we go to five. God, I wish we didn't turn this down. I thought this was the last... Uh, the black card is just City's Blessing. Sure. Yep, pretty sure we could have won that game multiple different ways. Uh, they had a Sensor and a Hieroglyphic Elimination in hand. We actually win the game. Yep, that was pretty bad. But, so, one of the things Robert said when he sent me the list 
was I've been having some fun with the deck, but unfortunately lose the time since here in the Philippines my internet lags quite often. And I can definitely see why you'd lose the time with this deck because it's very there's a lot of things going on. Um, this is the exact problem I've had with other similar Hour of Promise uh, control decks where you just have so many things to do and you have to keep track of so many different lands and tapping correctly and keeping some things up and some things down. It's just really... It's hard because of the interface. So as you can see, like I, I totally mistapped multiple different times because there's so many different lands and you have to choose which ones to tap correctly each time. And uh, it's not easy. Like, and then you have to, you never, I never play Nissa Vital Force, so I totally forgot that it was permanence. Uh, and then I, I forgot again, and I didn't get back the, the Ixalan's Binding, because I think of it as a removal spell and not a permanent, so. Yeah, we can keep this bottom you for now. Depending on what we draw, we might just cycle the Scattered Grove. Oh, uh, Dustall, I don't know if I'll play any Ravnica throwback. I just don't care that much, to be honest. Like, I'd rather be playing regular standard and regular modern and drafting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the very least we could have taken it to a game three. And uh, I think our deck wins pretty handily uh, much faster than their deck wins. Yeah, but like there was, oh my god, there was those turns. Like the turn, the turn where I got back the Carnage Tyrant, I should have gotten Nixalon's Binding back. I should have also, um, I Hour of Promise and didn't count the number of deserts I had because I forgot I'd been sacking them to mill them. And uh, it was just misplay after misplay because I was trying to rush with like four minutes on the clock. And you get into this mindset where you feel like winning is so guaranteed. Like you're at a point where you're like, okay, I can win this game. There's no way I can lose this game. There's so many different metrics. All I have to do is get rid of this. You have no cards in your library. You only have the cards in your hand. And it gets confusing because you're locked into this I can't lose mindset. So you start playing a little looser. And uh, it's not it's not ideal. I'm just going to go Grove here. Fetid Pool is, uh, makes me feel like there's just another control matchup happening here. Yep. Feeling, feeling like that. Okay, more so even now. The problem is, like, we've, we've just played two control decks in the friendly, in the friendly league, and <laughs> A, they're miserable for us, because we're, our deck is, like, Binding, Baffling, and Fumigate is our hand. And, like, we're, we're trying to play against more aggressive decks with creatures. And apparently people think the uh, the control decks are where you want to be in the, in the leagues. I will probably be playing some Modern tomorrow. I think today we're just going to do Standard and Draft. I just wish we had more things to do here. I'm tempted to just Ixalan's Binding your stupid Search for Us content, but there's no way that resolved, right? I guess we'll find out. I mean, Baffling End is so bad in this matchup. It's basically a blank, right? Mm, that could be good. I mean, I'm sure they just Veraska's Contempt our Azor, right? I mean, that seems pretty good. Yeah, this feels like a terrible matchup for us, unfortunately. I think MTG can be the best, but when you have these, I think these grindy control matchups are more, these these feel like more work than anything, but I think drafting is better for, 
if if the long day is what got you down, I think the I think drafting for me personally is better, just because it's like I think the games are quicker and you don't have to like get like really bogged down in a long drawn out match like this. So we're gonna play Azor, and in response, they're gonna torrential gear hulk and counter it. You guys ready? <laughs> And the problem is we have no, like if we don't do that, then they just play they just play torrential gear hug and glimmer. <laughs> that's where drinking comes in. All right, that's fair actually. I cannot argue with that. Wow, that's worse. I will not be paying one for that. I don't know if I even like the baffling end here. Yep, here we go. Here we go. I mean, I'm sure they just have another one in hand, right? Well, I guess they can't cast it this turn. That's a thing. No, standard is an almond kit. Standard or uh, sensor is an almond kit. Sens sensor is still very legal. Quite legal. I mean, it was good enough to counter my six mana mythic, so that's a thing. Baraska's contempt. <laughs> All right, you got it. I hate that they make like they make creatures like Azor that are so good, but like you just can't do anything with them because. Tin Man, thank you so much. Royalty fee. I've got my entire playgroup calling that Phoenix that beautiful chicken. That's fantastic. I love it. That's the best thing ever. Like they just make cards like Azor like so unplayable because they're just like, well, I'll I'll kill it for four mana instead. I think we're dead. They're just gonna untap and go approach, right? If they're just playing a blue blacklist and splashing a pro star off of Aether Hub, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> okay. You got it. Well, this game was much faster. This was significantly less grindy, so... Negates are definitely coming in. Baffling End are definitely coming out. Bindings can come out. Settle can come out. Fumigates can come out. Commit can come in. Convergence. Naturalize is probably good here. Even Approach being a 7 mana card is like, well, that's a lot, but if you cast it, you usually just win, right? Let's play first. Gideon's, actually Gideon's Intervention, I think that's a great card right now. Like, it shuts off all kinds of things. It's not a lot if you win the game. That's a good point. Well, if you're winning the game, seven mana is pretty reasonable.
So we have a desert here. So if we can hit five, we can double our, but... I wish... I wish we just didn't misplay last game. That was pretty rough. What's up, JC? How would I view standard? Um... I don't think it's terrible. I think the creatures are just really too good. The, the good creatures are too good. But then the creatures you want to be good are just terrible. Unseen Spectre, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Daniel, have a good night, buddy. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Like, Vraska's Contempt is four mana. Like, it's not super strong, but it really it kind of is. I don't know. Standard's weird right now. Is it not? Is it just me? It's hard to explain. I don't think I hate it, though. Like, I think it's actually playable. I think there are a lot of decks that you can play. It is a weird time. Like, there's there's creatures that are super good, like, like Scarab God. That is just so far above everything else. And then there's creatures like Azor, which you want to be, like, really good. Like, this card's super cool. It has Sphinx's Revelation tacked onto it. It flies. But, like, they can just kill it. With a three-mana spell or a four-mana spell or, you know, whatever. And it's, yeah, it's like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of secular, secular? Cyclical? Cyclical? Is that the word I'm looking for? Like, cards like Scarab God and Hazoret force you to play Vraska's Contempt because it's one of the only ways to really get rid of them, which makes the other cards worse. So it's kind of like, well, because these cards are so good, you have to play this other card. Like there's not a lot of there's not a lot of medium ground. Like there's not a lot of room to be like super um Like it's just you yeah, you play the best. I think that's fair critique. All the sweet creatures you want to play are unplayable, but you have to play the knee jerk automatic good cards otherwise you don't get it. That's I think that's I think that's a fair explanation. Like the good cards are so far ahead of the bad cards or even the middle cards that it's like it's hard to Like a deck like this, like I I have fun playing a deck like this and I really want to just play Nicol Bolas and Azor and Carnage Tyrants, but, like, they're not as good as Scarab God, unfortunately. <laughs> Hits approach off of Dead Eye, Dead Eye Tracker. Like you do. So that's going in your hand. Uh, close you. Close you. So you can't censor, right? Let's uh, let's fingers crossed here. So we just get two deserts, right? We just get uh, scavenging grounds and seems good. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that I think that explains it. I just want a dirtle, like. I think my biggest problem as a Magic player is that I play to Dirtle, but I get frustrated when I don't win when I Dirtle. Does that make sense? Actually, we're going to wait to play this. If we play it now, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we do get to keep Negate up, don't we? Yeah, okay. We'll battle. We'll battle for Hour of Promise number two. We're not going to battle? No battling? All 
All right. Whatever. I just want to do sweet stuff for 50 minutes and have you uh, have you concede because because my stuff the stuff that I was doing was just so cool. Two Jaces. Wow, that's actually. Two Jaces actually for FNM is pretty sweet. Also, I really like that blue black list. So, uh, good luck. That would be sick if you actually. I, that would be pretty sick if you actually crushed with two Jaces. Or uh, crushed in one with two Jaces for that. Chris, I knew it was you. I am familiar with Rucifer. Oh, that seems good, but you're just going to... Well, actually, we have counter spells now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Actually, can we keep... Yeah, we can keep up double blue, too. Wow, that's pretty good. What up, Lonely Tex? All right, so they can't play anything in response to this. That's pretty good. Did they play Drown Catacomb? Is that the same one? Yeah, okay. We'll assume they did. Double Negate with uh, Azor in, in play seems pretty good. I kind of like that too. One, two, three, four. Wow. I get to swing and draw. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just draw three here, I think. We can keep up double negate. Nope, not gonna do that. Uh use this guy instead. Why are you, what are you doing? Blue, there we go. So one, pay yes, one, there we go. All right, this is confusing. Do we play a land this turn? No, so we're actually gonna pay one more and assume we're gonna hit a land and we did. That's pretty good. Go to 10. I feel like we're actually in a position to, like... Uh, that's annoying. But you don't get to do anything with it. Hmm. Did you just get rid of Scarab God here? No, we don't. We don't care about that. We actually, like, if they want to attack, we just win, right? Because we have infinite blockers and we have double negate. Okay, so we can just counter their approach. If they tap out for approach here, that's actually pretty insane. Yeah, that, this game's over. Because now we can actually go cast out, cast out, attack for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and uh, win of the game. Yep. All right, cool. Even we didn't actually need that. We went 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, killed them. We'll just show you another binding just for the fun of it. Hmm. Surprise that worked out. I'm gonna bring another binding if we can if we have time. We'll take out a naturalize for a binding because now we saw Scarab God and Torrential Gear Hulk, which is pretty pretty scary. 
Yeah, once you're able to attack with this guy, it's pretty good. I feel like even attacking just once is pretty good. White Bordered Lands. Um, I really appreciate the support. That is super awesome, man. Glad you can catch a, a stream, but um, I can't really support that name, buddy. We're going to have to have a little chat. What do we think? I think we're 1-2 right now. Yeah, we're 1-2, but I think we are 2-1 uh, in spirit right now. The card that gives you zombies is Hour of Promise. Juposhi, welcome back, buddy. Three months in a row, that seems wrong, but I agree the cuties shall inherit the earth. I'm definitely keeping this hand. Any hand with uh, lands, deserts, hour, and uh, negate is pretty good. Well, I guess not. Wow, a big boy format instead of standard. So rude. So rude. Interesting. I would have thought you were going to take the negate. Actually, we probably should have played Sun Petal Grove first turn. It might not matter, though. We could just go Botanical into Rivulet here. I feel like it's relevant to keep up Negate here. Man, you're upset they they banned Ferocidon? I was okay with it. As you can probably imagine. You gonna let me spring? I will censor your spring. No, you're not gonna censor my spring. Okay. That's actually very good. Now Sunbell Grove does come into play untapped. I have the most land ever. Really? So what we can do is go... You could have totally censored my spring there. You can censor my spring here too. But then you use your one your one energy. Wow, are you gonna do it? You're gonna negate this one? There's no way you negate it, right? What's the point of negating this one but letting the gift resolve? That doesn't make sense. And what's the point of censoring this one when you could have censored this one? None of this makes any sense. This is a tough choice, apparently. <laughs> How much mana? Okay, well, that's the thing. They have three cards? I'm more comfortable with them having three cards than us having three cards. Like, that, I'm okay with me having three cards if you only have three cards, because usually the control decks have, like, six or seven. So when you only have three, all right. I feel like we just get rid of this, but they also have Torrential Gear Hulk, which is really annoying. They also don't have a second blue here. They're going to feel to ruin our planes, aren't they? Eh, it's fine. We're going to fire off a mind here. What? 
Oh, that's amazing. Is it non? Oh, it's non basic. Oh, I'm I'm not smart. Everybody knows that though. And we got to draw the cards. What a deal. Get this one. Man, I knew I put that on there for a reason. There's so many different cards with so many different caveats, like Tectonic Edge, Ghost Quarter, Strip Mine, Wasteland. There's so many lands that destroy other lands that sometimes it's hard to tell which one destroys basics and which one doesn't. I think Strip Mine and Strip Mine might be the only one that destroys basic, isn't it? I was just testing you guys, obviously, Chris. <laughs> like I didn't know that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Alright, you don't have Gear Hulk mana. That's nice. One, two, three, four. We have six mana. We're definitely playing this. I think it's just compass keep up negate. See, Ghost Quarter hits basics. Come on. Ever all the all they all hit basics, right? The fall of the energetic empire. I agree. There's a bunch of uh, hour of promise decks in standard right now. Well, not maybe not in standard, but seeing seeing like fringe play. And there's enough of them where I'm like, okay, this is actually a thing in the format, so that's pretty cool. Are you gonna counter my thematic compass? How rude do you feel? One, two, three, four. What are we doing if they, they just, let's just counter this, get this, and naturalize this. That seems good. Because now we have Nicol Bolas in hand, so we really want to be able to search for a mountain to play Nicol Bolas. La, la, la. One, two, three, four, five. Now we don't have enough mana to uh, to mind, but we do have enough mana to cast out if we need to. Oh, well, I was going to say, oh, we can use this, though, but no, it's, it's already tapped. Magic's hard, man. I don't know if they have anything. They got to have Torrential Gear Hulk, right? Mm, one, two, three, four, five. We're just going to leave this back. We don't have to actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. If we draw a negate, we're actually... Uh... Actually, is that... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have enough to scavenging ground. They have to have a counter in hand. Let's see if they do. Torrential Gearhulk's cute, but we have Scavenging Ground, so it's got to be literally in-hand Counterspell. Compass morphs into Spire of Orazka, which, uh, it's basically Maze of Ith. Oh, they are going to Gearhulk. I guess we just Exile now, right? No, we don't exile now because we let them target first. If we exile now, they could actually cycle a like something like sensor and then act then then recast sensor, which is not great, but This is actually pretty good. <laughs> So 
So we can actually plus and make them exile the two cards from their hand. They only have Torrential Gear Hulk and Nicol Bolas survives. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just going to make you get rid of your last two cards. I think that's good. <laughs> Okay. Chris, just take this deck to the modern event. <laughs> Win with these guys. <laughs> so Nicol Bolas goes to three, but you're in top deck mode and I have cast out and fumigate. Okay. Cycle a fetid pool. Seems good. I mean, Nicol Bolas has a, a pretty sick plus one ability, so... Yeah, unless you're gonna... Uh, one, two, three, four, Let's Fumigate. Sure. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Target opponent reveals from the top of the library until he or she was a non-land card. That seems pretty bad just because they're going to have... Uh, whatever. It's better than nothing. If we hit a counterspell, we hit a counterspell. I'd rather plus Nicol Bolas and... Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, activate 1, 2. We actually have enough to do all, all the things here. I don't want you to keep exploring, though, so I'm actually going to get rid of this guy. And we're just going to play land, because... Can we play a land? Did we play one already? I think we played Arch, right? Yeah, all right. Excel each not land permanent your opponent's control. Not great, but I think the plus two abilities, the two plus abilities rather. Yeah, I don't want my mana tied up in this. I also don't want to be forced to use it if they have two guys. Um, it, I just, I feel like getting a one for one of Fumigate is just fine. Plus if they play Field of Ruin and kill this, then we have to use Fumigate then. I'd rather, we, we had nothing else to, to play. So I'd rather keep it free for the future turns. And now we're the deck with a with an active Nicol Bolas and an active Arch of Araska, and that's an okay an okay place to be. One, two, three, four, five. Activate. We still get to keep up spires. It's a lot of things happening. They have one card, so uh, apparently it's a pretty big decision. So these these this matchup actually ended up being far more back and forth than I thought it would be. Do I want to go buy real food or go buy cheese puffs and energy drinks? Um, I don't even think I'm worried about Vraska's Contempt. They have no cards, and we arch of Vraska every single turn. Like, Right, Tracker can only activate if we have cards in our graveyard, but we're going to have cards in our graveyard at some point. And I'd rather... Like, they have no permanents, no cards in hand, right? So... Man, this is a 
a tough moment here, apparently. Like a sad gravy. Get real food and pour cheese puffs and energy drink over it. Like a sad gravy. What if you got a, got your food processor out, blended up some energy drinks and uh, some cheese puffs, and then you have a nice... You know what? It's not a nice anything. I don't, I don't know where we're going with that. I don't know what's going on here, but... Our opponent is uh, deep in the tank. They also don't have a white mana for approach. If they top deck like an approach, it's just a blank. No, never add a slice of American cheese to anything. That's all I have to say. I don't know what's going on right now. Connor Ryan, where are you? Where are you? Where there's no delivery and uh, ungodly expensive things? Where Where would you be located? I mean, they might just be trolling me. I mean, I got a Nicol Bolas, a Spires of Araska, and an Arch of Araska. I got a, I got Araska for days, buddy. So if you want to troll me when I have Nicol Bolas in play, like I feel like once your opponent plays Nicol Bolas in a five color deck, they've earned it, right? Like, give it up. Just give it up for him. That's all. You don't got to be mad. Just give it up for him. Ah, oh, Prince Edward Island, eh? Never, never earned it. <laughs> oh, man. Use guys. Well, no, Tron doesn't deserve to have a turn three card because that's a, a tier one deck playing a tier one card. This is like a tier 2 deck playing a, a tier 2.5 card, which is completely different. This is just a cool, flavory card. Like, you're comparing losing to a Zor to losing to a Slippery Boggle. Like, it's just not the same, right? Yeah, once they cast Bulls from hand, just say GG, because they really earned it. Exactly. Uh, I'm not timing out. I am not timing out. You are timing out. Oh my god, there's a Frank Loves Gutshot command for MTG Bot that says, hey, this isn't Utron. That's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Luke is always with us. Moldefor last week, the hand was mine. Tower, power plant. Oh my god. <laughs> Crying out loud. Welcome to modern, ladies and gentlemen. But but t trust me, Jace is terrifying. Did you hear the UK is going to going through a KFC chicken shortage? Just watch the news and the police are asking for people to stop ringing in to complain. Oh my God. How is this real life? I like that you asked me if I heard that. You're like, hey, you know who you know who wants to hear about this KFC sh chicken shortage in the UK? Frank's going to want to know about that. Chris, you are what's wrong with magic, buddy. Not with magic with modern, rather. You you are the you are the part you are part of the problem. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not timing out. Like uh, that that has never been an issue for me as far as like where like they time out, like their clock is going down but it's actually me. I don't think that's What if it is though? Oh man, I don't want to do all that. That's some drama. I actually have a Google alert for uh UK KFC chicken shortage. So whenever the news pops, I get a I get a notification. 
the 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 modern player with a mouth as as Deadpool would say KFC closed more than half of its locations which is like 450 locations all of his beautiful chicken will go to waste oh my god This is some drama. I just want to be casting some spells here. Let's open a trade. We'll see what happens. Yeah, look, this works. We good. See you later, goat bots. Yeah, they're just they just left. They're like, I'm leaving because my opponent played Nicol Bolas God Pharaoh against me. Whatever. <laughs> I already sent him a message. It's right here. It's seven mana. Judy in disguise? I thought I was I thought I was humming like girl from Ip is it girl from Eponema? Because it's like the classic like elevator song, right? Maybe I don't know. Look, man, I'm just humming. I'm just trying to get through this this thing called life, and I'm doing it by casting nickel boluses, boluses. I should record. Oh, look at that. We won. Wow. They just they just left for 10 minutes. That's cool. You're in a friendly league, no less. Come on. Just play your match. Do you require assistance? I will play first. All right, last round. You guys ready? Y'all ready for this? I don't. I like this hand, but I don't like the the cards in it. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Oh dang it! Okay. We can't be greedy here. We got to keep that. So as long as they're not countering my stuff, I think we're okay here. We can get a little white mana. I have to explain the jazz thing every single stream, like how I just can't play it anymore because YouTube then flags my videos for copyright infringement. And I don't want to be infringing on anybody's copyrights. So then they get mad. And they either take down the video or they just demonetize it. So neither is, is preferable. Oh, Black Foul Orchard Forest Merfolk Branch Walker. Oh boy. Oh, you just put that in the, in the trash can. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? You're going to show up now? Really? Who even likes you, Thematic Compass? Who even are your friends? Nobody. If we can draw one land that comes into play on tap, that's actually a. We can go Thematic Compass into search for a land. That's pretty good. I don't want a large Farva, I want a leader of Cola. Well, at least we know all of our spells are going to resolve, which is actually a pretty good place to be for us. I'm okay with the spells resolving. Wow, you just drew two lands? That's pretty brutal. I'm very proud of you, though. 
Oh, that was a good land. That was great. Play this thing. Put it into play. Do we just kill their Field of Ruin with our Field of Ruin? That seems bad. You can just have your stupid Field of Ruin. We actually want more colored lands anyway, so... I don't, I don't even I don't even much care. <laughs> Everyone is demonetized thanks to Logan Paul. That's fantastic. Yeah, Logan Paul's pretty horrendous. What is this wayward sword tooth? This deck is amazing. I've never been this excited in my life. Can I can a dude get a fumigate though? Like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure we just have to cast out, like, this 3-2. 2-3-4-5-6. I can't be risking them attacking with the 5-5. Five, five. Or we just take 5 instead of 7 and just get rid of the Sword Tooth. Might just be better to get rid of the Sword Tooth. Yeah, I'm I'm I've never thought I would cast away a sword tooth in standard magic. I'm going to assume you play both of these. Oi. Can we get a fumigate one time? Can a, can a dude get a fumigate one time? He cannot. It's not good. Flip you. Send this guy home. One, two, three... Four mana, so close to just drawing two cards. Or drawing one card. Both cost six mana. Destroy all non-zombies. All right, that does not concern me. Oh, another sword tooth in the graveyard, huh? Okay. I'm actually very okay with everything that's happening here, except for us not drawing lands. That's really where I want to draw the line. Okay, I really want to fumigate, guys. You definitely put that in your hand and make a 4-3, right? Yep. Oh, um, put in the graveyard. Put both in the graveyard. Okay, weird. I have no idea what you're going to be getting. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Put them in the trash can right now. I don't want to look at your creatures anymore. Doot, 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 doot.
gonna attack your Liliana. We're having a good time. Guess we're opening these. Yeah, I figured they were gonna do that. That's fine. One, two, three. We're still one shy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'd be one shy of actually uh, casting the thing. That guy's good. Uh, that's that's frustrating. Yeah, sometimes I ask myself, how much more black can my shirt be? And the answer is none. None more black. Um, <clears throat> We're obviously just going to... Out well, actually, do we just want to draw two cards? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine... Wait, what's tomorrow? What starts tomorrow? Is there some sweet drafts, some crazy drafts tomorrow? You said don't have to touch another Ixalan card starting tomorrow. What's tomorrow? I feel like it is always draw cards. Oh, Trip Theros draft starts tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with Chris's, Chris's suggestion here because I think it's correct. Another Fumigate. I like that. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, we'll just be Fumigating next turn. Field of Ruin's kind of annoying, but... The question is, is it better to spring here? And keep this up and make Gideon go to one? I don't know. Why do I still have four cards in hand? That's so many cards. Well, we have this to keep up. We have Spires to keep up so that Gideon stays at three instead of going to one. Which I think is better. Plus, if they're going to keep Field of Ruining us before we get to actually... Like, if they field us twice, I want to make sure we have enough lands to actually get, so... This is also a land, so they could actually just feel to ruin that. Yeah, which is what they're gonna do. Seems fine. I don't think any of these are terrible for us, so. So they get one more land back. Yeah, Gideon's indestructible. We're basically just trading zombie for Gideon. Or not not for Gideon, but zombie for uh But then Gideon stays at two, right? So then they just crack back with the guy they don't block with. So that just seems worse to me. Like now Gideon survives. And we get to fumigate. If we just naturally hit a land here, we can both Fumigate and Hour of Promise in the same turn, which is super nice. That's actually fine. We're going to kill them all. It wouldn't have killed Lily. Lily would be a four. They just chump block. They chump block with this guy. Gideon stays at two. Our turn comes. They feel to ruin our land, and then they attack Gideon for the two that he's at, and Gideon just dies. Also, Field of Ruin and their Field of Ruin doesn't do anything because they have Ramming Up Excavator. So until we actually fumigate, it doesn't it does nothing. You guys are getting real getting real aggressive here. Well, 
Well, it's not really a strip mine. We're getting lands out. I don't care about our graveyard. Do I just want to get rid of their thing? I'm tempted to get rid of their, their Arch of Araska here. Which I'm pretty sure is a better play when they just don't have... Uh... Oh, we have one stupid land right now. One basic left in our deck. Which is good for drawing purposes, but not great for... For multiple field of ruin purposes. How have we... Oh, God. How do they still have four cards in their hand? What are these cards that you have? Tell me about them. Well, one is a Vraska. Oh, it was Vraska's Contempt. Okay. That's pretty good. And one is a Vraska. <laughs> okay. Oh, seems good. Wow, and you get rid of the cast out to get your wayward sword tooth back. Okay. We're doing we're doing good here. We're doing we're doing alright. I mean we're not, but maybe one day. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get cards. Scavenger ground and Ip Ipnu Rivulet, I guess. All right, well, can't cast any more Vraskas, so we got that going for us. Chris, have a good night, buddy. Yeah, they definitely could have ordered it with um, Vraska and then Vraska's Contempt, and then her Contempt comes from her since she's in play. That would have been ideal, I think. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'll block here. I'm not worried about this 5-5 five, five for now. Foul Orchard. Sure. Foul Orchard gets played. Another Squire. Reeling. Foul Orchard again. Okay. <laughs> Foul Orchard gets played. Okay. One card in hand. Seems good. Fumigate number three. One time. All right, looking, looking a little grim here. That doesn't get back much. Two, three, four. We do have the one land left, right? Can we mill them out? Four, eight, 16. Is that possible? <laughs> Ambitious, maybe? What can we even get back with Nissa here? Cast out? Actually, cast out's pretty good. Do we just get cast out Liliana? I don't hate that. Otherwise, Nissa goes to six, and we just have, like, we make a, a blocker. We can go block, block, we take one, two, three, four. That might be better. What can you return with your Nyssa? Ramming up Excavator? That doesn't seem great. Bunch of boring stuff. Another situation where if we just had one more one more mana, we can actually uh 
ask activate mind. I'm gonna untap scavenging ground here so we can maybe get rid of their things. We can also just chump block a wayward sword tooth and block a zombie, prevent the same damage, but then but then Nissa dies, which is pretty bad. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yep all right so i'm real tempted to exile the graveyards right now but all right well one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we do have six and five. I mean, if there's a fumigate on top, we are in good shape. I can't believe we're losing to Wayward Swordtooth, though. That's pretty funny. This is also 14 damage. If they had a way to remove this zombie, they win the game. Everyone at Nyssa? Deal. <laughs> she did. Are they just going to mill themselves? They have 12 cards left. Um, I think we can just win here. <laughs> Granted, they don't have a way to like get their library back. We just get all the deserts we can, right? I'm gonna kill one of my zombies, my zombones. They are connected to the to the neck bone after all. You got it. I think we just won the game by milling them. Unless they have a way to shuffle their... Oh, wow, you're not going to come in with those guys? I'm going to take nine here. This is a sorcery, right? Yep, seems good. Are we going to actually win with Ipnu Rivulet again? That's pretty insane, right? What is even happening right now? How's it gonna be? That's from a little song called, uh, it doesn't matter, you know what it's called. Hope you got an Eldrazi in there. No, I don't. I don't hope that. Then we, then we lose. I <laughs> Insult to injury. Your move. And we get to see your entire deck. Oh, you wanted to keep those last three cards a secret, eh? All right. Wow, that was pretty insane. That was a that was a heck of a game. Let's go settle. Let's go fumigate. Baffling end does get rid of sword tooth. And Jade the uh, Jade Ranger, Jade Light, Jade Light Druid, Jade Light Elf. You know what I'm saying.
I like negate because you have a lot of dudes. A lot of planeswalkers, that is. Um, I don't think I care about commit to memory that much. Take out one binding. Bring in two negates, I think. Take out one baffling end. Tin Man, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Take out the Ajani here. I think that guy's pretty slow. Uh, I did not get this list from Saffron Olive, no. This was submitted by a viewer. Uh, they commissioned me to play it in a league, uh, which is a service offer. If you guys want to check out my Twitch profile, there's uh, information on that in there. And uh, then I'll provide feedback afterwards and let them know what I think. I think this is fine. Fumigates were definitely pretty clutch there. I think I like binding over cast out because you can just play on Liliana and just or Vraska and just lock out all the other Vraskas. This hand seems like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, we need we need one more land, but I think we can I think we can do that. I think we can get there. We gotta play fast though, because we have four minutes less. Okay, well, that's sad. So long, gift of paradise. Wow, who saw that coming? Gotta play this first because we have no way to make it untapped. So we're just gonna play uh, the other cards afterward. And we do have a desert, so all of our Hour of Promises are online. Jade Light Ranger, that's a good one. Naturalize and an Evolving Wilds. Where does the Naturalize go? All right, good to know. Well, that's pretty good, especially after you just played a Naturalize, but again, it would have been better last turn. Fashion related to the party as always. Thematic Compass. Ooh, they didn't do anything. I like that. I like that you didn't do anything there. That's nice. So now I can play a thing, pass, keep up Nagate. We know you have an evolving wilds in hand, as the kids say. No one says that. The Mike Hypothesis. What's going on, man? Glad you can finally catch a stream. Really appreciate it. What's going to happen? I'm a Jade Light Ranger. I guess we'll take three. Oh man, you're just asking for it. You're just asking for the Fumigate. Just threw three cards. All right. This is going to go in the graveyard. All right. Got another naturalize? Wow. Okay. I mean, that's better than naturalizing a binding, I think, so. I'm pretty sure we Hour of Promise, and if they want to cast Veraska, like, eh, knock yourself out. Let's play... 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just getting mountain and we want a second green. I guess we'll get desert of the desert of the desert men. Because this lets us play our again next turn and keep up negate, or we can just play binding, keep up negate. So it gives us a lot more. Thank you for putting the goodness up on YouTube. It's got to stay entertained. I appreciate you saying so, man. If you guys haven't done so, you can check out all the streams you may miss on uh, youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. Yeah, we're just gonna block both these guys. Like, I don't know, I don't know what this plan is, but this is probably a Liliana plan. Liliana make a guy or bring back Jade Light Ranger. Just another Jade Light Ranger. Okay. And you keep the hour on top, and you have Deadlands, Evolving Wilds. Okay. So you have three of the cards in your hand. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get more things. Let's get an arch this time, and we'll get a, I guess desert of the, I guess the blue desert. So we have four minutes less, but it should be fine. So hours on top. Yeah, we need two cards then. Did I not play blue there? Come on. Blue. I don't like it. It's actually pretty okay, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Activate, and we can still play a Gideon here. Or a Binding. Now I'm just going to try to speed up the game a little bit. All right. So we have eight power on board. I don't think they have many cards. Oh, uh, I would say this deck is close to my play style for standard. Sure. Sure, you got that. Get a branch walker. Where's that going? Trash can? Yep. You ever going to play this Evolving Wilds? There it is. All right. All our information is gone. I'm going to keep... Uh, actually, we don't have any black, so it doesn't matter if we keep the red up. I feel like we're lagging pretty pretty heavily here. I also feel like we can start drawing with Araska here, which is pretty sweet. Varaska. Yep. Why do I just... How do I just know these things, I wonder? You kill Binding, or do you kill... Oh, you just make a pirate. Intriguing. They're going to try to one-shot me, I bet.
Could have actually tried hitting gate there, but... No, sir, I don't like it. We have nothing else to do, so we're just going to draw again. One, two, three, four, five. That's actually pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five. Nissa. Attack Vraska, attack Vraska, attack Vraska. You block here, block here. Could have went face if they block both of these guys. They just take a million, but I really don't want Vraska just online. So Vraska goes to two, which means she can't actually... Yeah, this is actually pretty okay. And we just get the F6 here. We have no responses to anything other than blocking. They have five more minutes than us, so we're just trying to win before they... I mean, their menace guy gets through, but... Oh, well. Did they just draw a card? That's pretty good. Gideon goes to two. Long hair, don't care. Sword tooth. Ramunap excavator, sure. Just crack it now. Why are we waiting? Why wait? So we can kill her this turn. So one, two, three, four. Do this guy. Get this guy. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five. Draw a card. Play a land. Untap a planes. Still have up settle the wreckage mana. We have to attack with everything, otherwise they just double block and then Vraska goes to two. But now when they attack, we can actually uh, settle the wreckage, which is pretty sweet. Gives them a couple more lands, but I don't think we really care. Do I have 12 different land types? One, two. Would it be a 12-12 for four? That's pretty interesting. I assume they're going to try to kill whatever planeswalkers they can here. One at Gideon. Really? I want my Gideon to live. Don't believe me, just watch. We actually could have activated Mind instead of activating Araska because they both cost six mana, essentially. How about a Fumigate? Can we get a Fumigate here? I think we have a million Fumigates here. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Not ideal. Hmm. 
Let's emblem up. I guess we're gonna hour here. I don't know if this is any good. One, two, three, four, five. It's actually okay because we get to keep up double. We get to keep up a uh, rivulet field of ruin. And we get to draw more? Oh my god. Mm, can't see the benefit of attacking here. And we forgot to activate Gideon because we just pressed the wrong button. I'm still trying to rush because we have five minutes. Once I get to the five minute mode of games, I get to, I start to worry. Yeah, you got it. They never expect the second. Uh... <laughs> they never expect the second settle, right? Mm -hmm. How many lands are you playing per turn? Oh, you had you had it in play, and I guess you played it twice, right? Just killing all my things. That's it. This is it. Well, isn't that special? And they do have Raska in hand, but they don't they can't actually use it, so that's pretty good. Oh yeah, this this game looks great for us now. Oh, we didn't activate Gideon again. I'm so I'm trying to rush. The clock started blinking red and I'm I'm getting Let's just do all the things here. Don't care about this. So one, two, three, four. There you go. All right, that's our board. <laughs> Done. Your move. We messed up a bunch of times, but I'm just going to play everything out and assume you don't have a sweeper in the black-green deck. Woo! Woo! Did it. All right. That was pretty sweet. Okay, so this was the deck we played... Um, it was submitted by a guy named Robert, um, and made, uh, commissioned me to basically take a look at it, play it through a league and make some changes. One thing I don't like is that we have Nicol Bolas, but we only have a mountain. So we, we're still reliant on having a gift of paradise when we do have compass and we have uh, spring to mind. So I think one swamp is actually pretty good to add to the deck because we do want a second way to get that black, but also... The mana base is the hardest part of this deck, I think. I think it's not even... Um, it's 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 such a hard thing to do. It's hard for me to critique the mana base and be like, this is what we need to fix, this is what's broken, this is what we want to improve on, stuff like that. Because it's just... The mana base for a deck like this is so complicated. Because there's so many things going on. Um, I almost want to cut this just because... The deck is basically banned outside of this, and it's pretty easy to cut. But it's also easy to splash, too. So, I... I think it's very good. I think it's fine. Um, 
I like the number of Fumigates. I think Carnage Tyrant is awesome. Um, I might want a second Carnage Tyrant just to have another thing to deal with. Um, just another way to win the game. Or I wonder if... I was literally just going to say uh, Nezahal would, would, might be better than Nicol Bolas. Whenever they cast an Ankur, you should draw a card. Like, it's a great card to ramp into. It's in our colors. It lets us cut this mountain for another desert of some sort. Um, or just another basic land that we might need. Maybe another island. Uh, probably another island because he's a blue guy, so we can actually add another island. But, I mean, this card's great whenever they cast... This card, three cards, and, like, our deck has a great, uh, a great time just adding cards to our hand for obvious reasons. I don't know if I like the one Gideon. He's kind of obscure, but I, again, like when I had him, it was fine. I think it's hard to evaluate a lot of these one-ofs like Gideon, the trials, Dovin bond, Nissa, because they all did work when I had them. Like Dovin bond helped me draw a couple cards. It helped me set up a fumigate. Gideon actually helped me win the game. Nissa helped me win the game. Nissa can also get back things like Ixalan's binding or cast outs. I think a Johnny unyielding might be the worst one. This is a card I really wanted to like, but the abilities are just so narrow. It doesn't affect the board. It doesn't. It just doesn't do a lot of things that you want it to do. Um, I think I could. I could see taking out the Ajani. And a lot of the decks had one Sandworm Convergence in the main deck, and I think this is just a good payoff card. However, that being said, I do think there are a lot more copies of things like Naturalize and. Uh, I guess mostly just Naturalize going around. You can't abrade Sandworm Convergence, which is nice. Um, so I could see taking out the Johnny for Sandworm Convergence. I think on like I think when you have both of these cards, um, Sandworm Convergence is just a more powerful card, and it's going to win more games against a control deck. I could also see sticking like two Approach of the Second Sun in the deck. I think those are also viable options. Um, but other than that, I really like the deck. I was actually surprised. I think Baffling End is a great addition. It's nice and easy in the early game. It gives you something to do on turn two if they have a guy. Uh, it's never dead in the late game because there's still creatures that are still threatening in the late game. And uh, really enjoyed it. Robert, I hope I hope uh, you appreciated this run-through. I hope you, it gives you some some feedback. I hope you were uh, pleasantly surprised. I We went 3-2, but I actually feel like we went 4-1 because I'm pretty sure we could have won that other game if I just hadn't punted like crazy due to time constraints and just misclicks and things like that. My own, my own stupidity. I will uh, own that. But yeah, deck was super fun. I really liked it. I, I'm a big fan of these Gift of Paradise Spring to Mind decks that are just ramping and, and Hour of Promise decks that are just ramping into the late game. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, feel free to check out my Twitch profile and I, I will I could I could run through your decks as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the opportunity and I'll see you guys next time.